Pungyo's Andy with Andy Vlogs making another review here. This is a, a, a bunch, so if you feel a little overwhelmed, I'm sorry, but I wanted to share with you guys a product that was provided to me by a company that thinks that uh, this is going to be better than any of the others out there on the market. This is from Nilkin. It's the Go TW004 TWS wireless headphones. They reached out to me after watching my JBL and they said, hey, look, these are way better. And so they sent them to me complimentary. A couple things about them. You've got call control, which means it's got a microphone. It obviously uses Bluetooth 5.0. They have an IPX rating of 45, uh, IPX5. They've got fast charging, which apparently it uh, you can use it for 13 hours if you charge it for playtime with charging case. Three hours plus 52 hours. Okay, so the charging case gives you a ton of, a ton of extra time. TWS is, I think it's a sort of low latency. It, de it depends on the type of chipset you have. If you got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 and higher, you're eligible for low latency. So that might be an issue, guys. If you don't have the latest and greatest smartphone, or if you don't have the right chipset like the Qualcomm, then you may not get the latency free. Because that's a huge issue to me. Lo having low latency is gigantic. All right, we're going to go ahead and open this now. There we go. Kind of opens up like a book. You got your documentation. You got the headphones themselves. My voice cracked. And then you got your cords. Let's see what else is in here. That's a big box for a little charger. It's kind of interesting. There's nothing else in here. Oh, there's your different sizes of your headphone. Here's the charging box by device. It's like a pill case almost. So you got the logo there. You got the charging port and then you just kind of twist it and it presents the headphones. It's pretty cool. Here are the headphones themselves. They do have ear tips. That's pretty smooth. That fits real nice there. The 300 t the three hundreds were were completely just ridiculous. These ones fit real snug, but I'm not liking uh, how this right one is fitting. It doesn't feel right. The left one's in there nice and snug. Okay. Once I put it in my ear, it noticed that it was there, and it j it said it's gonna pair. So I'm gonna go ahead and pair it with my iPhone right there TW004-L and now it's connected it just said connected in my ear but for some reason I'm, I'm only hearing sound on my left ear I don't know why it didn't go through both of ears okay let's go ahead and uh, listen to yeah I'm not getting any sound from this other ear yeah this this the, the right ear is not pairing Okay, we're going to go ahead and put them back in the device and see if uh, it works. So the left one's the only one that has the light on, so I guess I'm going to have to charge it. I hope there isn't pairing issues. This is going to be so annoying. Yeah, this, this right one is still not pairing. The sound is really harsh. Just on the outset, there's no bass drivers. I can't hear any bass. It's very, very sharp, sharp treble and high frequencies. Yeah, I'm listening to the crab rave and it's it's really there we go. Okay, now the bass is starting to bump in. That's interesting. I think the mid-range is no good. The mid-range don't doesn't have those punchy tones as well. It, it sounds like a digital bass drive rather than a natural from the hardware itself. But I, I still can't hear in my right ear. Alrighty, now that this product, the Nilkin, is charged, uh, we're gonna try to connect it. So I presume that you just turn it. So they face, and then you have to press and hold each top of these device. It looks like it's going into pairing mode. Let's try to pair it with my Android first. We're searching for devices. Uh, I'm not seeing any devices. They kind of just turn, no, they're, they are blinking, you can see, but I'm not seeing, there they are. Okay, this one isn't even responding. I only have connection in one ear. This is super irritating. If you want to buy, if you want to sell a product that is is 
going to work the first time that it works, you need to have better instructions. These instructions are not good. The English grammar is not good as well. And I mean, the, the tapping and the capacitiveness on it is, is a huge turn off. Take one from the charging case, the earphone will power on and interconnected automatically. Touch MF for one second. After RNL headphones finish interconnecting, turn on the wireless switch of your phone. That I don't how do I tell how they interconnect? This is this is the most frustrating process. You, I, I can't even read what it's explaining. It says it supports both of them. There's all these weird noises that are coming. Okay, I'm going to disconnect it. Okay, we're going to put them back in the case. Okay, they're back in the case. They're both charging. Take one of them off. Power's on. Tap twice. There's the device. It's now going to pair with the left one. It seems like the left one's the only one that can pair. Can I hear both ears? No, this is so irritating. I can't even get them to pair. Oh. I'm listening to the Duel of the Fates and it sounds pretty good. There's no there's no low drivers. The bass is really, really poor. It, it's a it's a muddled sound. And it's not worth the price. I mean, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm sorry. Um I appreciate you providing them to me complimentary. I, I'm not even going to bother sending them back to you. They're malfunctioning and they have a cool kind of futuristic feel. Uh, they're apparently supposed to be working with all devices, but I can't get it to Paris. The, the tapping in the ear is terrible because you've got like this, this needle pin just stabbing into your eardrum. It's, it's a terrible, terrible build. I mean, I don't know, but it's not showing up on my iPhone. This is, yep, I'm done. Okay, uh, yes, this is a buyer beware. Do not purchase these products. These are poor. They do not work. They do not pair. They do not work on iPhone. They do not seamlessly connect. And one of them connects and it sounds meh. The sound profile is all right. So, you know, you're not missing much on it. I would definitely check more, you know, brand aware, the more notable brands out there. Definitely your iPods, definitely your AirPods because those are now a hundred dollars. Um, but these ones, please don't don't get them. I, I recommend that you just move past them. With that said, folks, I didn't even get to listen to them. Uh, this is longer than it should be. This is Andy with All Games Played signing out.